And hi, welcome back to Two Riders in the Back. You can hear the cuckoo clock, and you might hear a 3D printer also. Today we're going to talk about some additives to your rations that help with energy, uh, focus, and morale. Things that help boost them all. And in this case, they're all food products. Uh, the first one I've got here, we're going to taste these and review them. Uh, these are called Airman Beans. This is a coffee and guara lozenge. Uh, guara is used in uh, energy drinks. Uh, I think the whole pack, you've got about the equivalent of two cups of coffee. Coca cola we've done the dark uh, chocolate review before. This is the milk chocolate. We're doing them both today. Chocolat, cafe, cola. Uh, cafe is coffee. So what we've got is uh, the, the teobromine that's going to be in the chocolate the caffeine, and then the cola bean. Um, chocolate bar, and then some Polish sweet biscuits. And, you know, if you're hungry and you're cold and you're tired, a nice sugar cookie kind of helps with your uh, morale. And then we've got a food force bar. I believe this is also from Poland. And uh, it's basically a cranberry uh, power bar, hoorah bar, something like that. So stick around, we've got a short introduction, we're going to get back and we'll taste these and see how they are. Thanks for tuning in. Well, by the end of this video I'll have a, about a cup of caffeine. Uh, floating through my system. I'm not going to finish up anything entirely, but the Food Force Bar is kind of interesting. Uh, it's printed in English, made in Poland, so I guess it's for the English-speaking market. Uh, on the back, I'm going to focus. Not focusing too great. Uh, the instructions are in Polish. Uh, this was a, a June 8th 2023 Best Buy date, so it's still fresh. And we're going to try this. Kind of a shortbread, relatively compressed. You can see the cranberries in it. And it is a tasty bar. Pretty thick. Kind of bready. Good fruit taste to it. Sweet, but tart. Reminds me a little bit of a... Uh, Cranberry pie we got this uh, right after Thanksgiving at uh, Trader Joe's, which is the first cranberry pie I've ever seen. It was really good. This is good. Thumbs up on the food force bar. Now we've got some Polish special crackers, a little bit on the sweet side. Their regular uh, military ration crackers are not sweet at all, and these these guys are are tough. You can throw them in your backpack, probably toss the backpack out of a vehicle onto the ground. It's not going to hurt anything. These are a little less hard tack taste and then the uh, the regular ration crackers they are on the dry side <laughs> and you probably want some water to help wash them down It's interesting. Um, it's almost, almost tastes 
like a combination of rye flour and wheat flour. It's like a very mild, sort of sweet rye cracker, but not, not salted. So somewhere between a cookie and a cracker. The Polish stuff and the Ukrainian stuff is usually pretty hard and pretty durable. This is no exception. Soca Cola. Top layer of this has been eaten. Usually comes two layers in a tin. And you've got eight pieces, which contains about as much caffeine and uh, cola stimulant as a uh, stiff cup of coffee. And one reason that you'd want to have something like this, which is not a liquid for your caffeine, is that if you're trying to do a long drive or you're stuck in rush hour traffic, maybe you're in a part of town that you really don't even want to stop and look for a bathroom, or in the middle of nowhere, on a high-speed road with no shoulders, you might want some stimulation, but not a bladder full of iced tea or coffee or energy drink. So here you get the, uh, the benefit of the stimulation, the caffeine, the cola, the chocolate, and a little bit of sugar, without having to stop to take care of bodily functions. Coca-Cola is uh, targeted for long distance driving and for uh, students who are staying up late trying to cram for an all-nighter. The milk chocolate, you can notice the coffee and we can notice the, uh, the cola a little bit more than in the dark chocolate. We'll do a piece of each, but it's pretty good. Coca Cola is uh, available online from one of Europe's largest surplus stores, Raros Teleka. They're in Finland, and not only do they have uh, foodstuffs, but they've got great, uh, usually great descriptions on military surplus clothing and some other items. Uh, lately, they've had a nice selection of boots from Switzerland, Austria, a few other countries. Um, pants and shirts and jackets and occasionally hats. The dark Coca Cola. You can't taste the coffee quite as much because of the dark chocolate, but there is an undertone of, of coffee. They're both pleasant, very nice. I say these don't fill your bladder because they're not full of liquids uh, transporting the, the caffeine to you. This, you might need a little. On the Polish crackers, you might need a little liquid, maybe some water to keep you going. If you are, are not driving and like at a camp or something, uh, and you got a cup of coffee, these would be great to dip in there. The Airman's Beans. Um, <laughs> they advertise this as a coffee that you can suck on. It's a coffee Garana lozenge. And I've opened the package and tried them a few times already. Let's see which end I opened. These are just a little disc. And, uh, they don't really taste like they got much sugar to them. It's a thin, dark disc. You see that? When you first taste it, you might have uh, 
black licorice come to mind. When it starts to dissolve, you do get a coffee flavor. It also has a licorice sort of tone to it. It's relatively hard, not as hard as a lifesaver, but much harder than licorice. Um, if you like licorice, you'll like it. If you do not like black licorice, you probably won't like it because it is a, a pretty strong taste. I find it is a very pleasant taste. Uh, an entire pack of this, I believe this equates to about two cups of coffee. So if you're uh, on guard duty, if you're driving down the road and you want a little bit of caffeine, but not to get the jumps, the, uh, the jitters, two or three of these will kick in. One thing that the sugar does is kicks in pretty quickly. Caffeine usually hits you full force about an hour after you drink it. So when you've got something like these that have sugar and caffeine, you get a little bit of a alertness and uh, in the first 10 minutes and then down the road for the next hour you still get something so it's a nice balance and that's what that's what you want in these things here's a 50 gram chocolate bar and this is just chocolate a little bit of bloom on it Trying to see the date. If it had a Best Buy date. Uh, May of 2024. So this is just straight chocolate. No added caffeine. But as a morale boost, almost everybody likes chocolate. I'll take the lozenge out of my mouth. So I can tell you if this is dark or sweet. And this is a very hard, very firm, but not bitter chocolate. It's not milk chocolate, but it is sweet. You can tell it's quality chocolate. It's not just soft. This is a uh, very good. This was a Christmas gift last year. And it's a European import. So, the Soca Cola I can get regularly from Varus Teleca. Some of these others are a little bit harder to find. But, um, mm. really liking this. Very sweet chocolate without having the creaminess of like a Hershey bar or something. Quite good. And with that, tune in again. Hit like if you like it. Please leave a comment and consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Um, now that 2024 is almost here, the kitchen's been rebuilt and making more videos. I appreciate you tuning in. See you next time.